Okay, now that we're inside of Adobe Muse, let's go ahead and start working on our main menu and getting it to look a little bit prettier than it is at the moment. So once again, whenever you're working on your main menu, you want to be doing this inside of your A master page. That way, any changes that you make to it will sort of apply to every single web page that you create on your website. So now that we're in here, we, let's go ahead and just do the basics of styling our header. Not the header, but the menu itself. So the first thing I'm going to show you how to do is just pretty much move it about and, you know, scale it, make it bigger, smaller, that kind of thing. So if you want to scale it, you just use the normal transformation tool, just like as any other object. So you sort of just scale it up, down, and sort of get the size that you want. Um, so for now, we're just going to go ahead and chuck it over here, probably a little bit to the right, and then we're going to have the Virtus logo up there as well at the top. So now that we've done that, we want to make it fit in with the header. So we're going to get rid of the background color that we've got here. So if we select the header and we go over to fill and just make sure the, you know, the background color is set to no fill, that will work for us. But before we can make that change, we need to double click it and just sort of go into it for that but for, for a single button and then just go ahead and change that background color. When you do that, it's just going to completely get rid of it and it's going to make that change to every single item that you've got on your menu there which is quite great and you can see here now we've got our menu and it sort of blends in with our you know our header background image well not image but background color that we've got here which is quite nice now you can change the background kill uh, background fill for different states of your menu so when you actually go on your website you're going to have a couple of different states so let me try and show you those just go ahead and click on one of the objects for now and just press menu menu item and then you press normal and you can see the other states that you have available for this. First one is going to be normal so that's just the normal position the normal look of your button that you will have sort of when it's just loaded up on the web page. Rollover is when your mouse is going to be over that object so you might want to change that a little bit just to just to show the user that they've actually got it selected and their mouse is on top of it. Next one is mouse down, which is sort of when they click it. You sort of see that for a couple of, you know, for like a split second. And the last one is active. So if you're on that web page, that one will become active and it will stay that way, you know, as long as you're on that page and it is active. So let's just go ahead and start working on changing the rollover effect for now. So what I'm going to do on my rollover effect, instead of having this sort of light colored background, I'm going to give it an ever so slightly orange tint to it. So I'm just going to go ahead and set this to orange just like that and you can see it looks quite nice. And you know now that I've done that if we go into our preview mode and go ahead and sort of put our mouse over that icon it should look quite nice. You can see we've now got the orange icons which do look quite cool. So the next thing I need to do then is I need to change the other states because when it's active you can see it's grey here and it doesn't look that great and you know the same for the mouse clicked you can't see it there it's only something you're really going to see for a split second but it makes it grey as well so let's go ahead and change that so just go into our states once again and just set the mouse down effect to I don't know uh, no fill maybe and then on the active state we are also going to have that set to no fill as well so it's nice and blank. So just change the color and just set it to no fill. If you don't want the orange to be as strong as it is at the moment on the normal hover effect, you can also change the opacity of that orange fill here and you can sort of play around with it. I'm going to go something around 80% for now as it isn't too strong, it's not too, you know, not too weak at the same time. So if I go ahead and press preview now, this should look quite nice. So we've got a nice lovely little icons here and that is looking quite good. So there's a few other changes that we can make to our menu. Um, the next one is we could change the font on there. So doing that is quite simple. All you gotta do is just double click uh, on your little icon. Whoops. Double click on it. If we can. Make sure you've got your text tool selected and just go ahead and select that text if you can. If it doesn't work, sometimes it doesn't, just go ahead and double click it. And it should let you make the change. There you are. Whoopsie. If you can't access it for whatever reason, just go into your layers panel, select that menu widget, and let's just do it from there. And then hopefully when we do this, it should work. Nope. Okay, this is really annoying me. Okay, let's see if we can figure out exactly what's going on here. I think the issue that I'm having here is just that I'm not selecting the text really because the background color isn't right, is, you know, there's no background color to it. So just go ahead and do that. Make sure that we're actually selecting the button and you can see that was part of the issue there. So if we go into that, 
it just caused a bit of issue. So note to self, I know I sort of dragged it on a little bit there, but if you're having trouble selecting your text, if you've got like a completely transparent background, just move whatever you got in the background and you should be able to work with it from there. So just double click that text and then you can begin working with it. So let's go ahead and change the font on this. You can just select the font normally just from changing up at the top. Um, for example, I could change to something like Arial. And once again, it's gonna make the change to all of the objects inside of your menu. You. And we can go ahead and do that from you know, just any way we like. We can also set a paragraph style on the right hand side as well if you have any of those. But I don't have any of those anyway uh, on here just at the moment. But if you want to create one you can do that. And that is something that I'm probably going to be going over a little bit later in the tutorial. But for now just go ahead and select your font. Just change the font on. You can even change the size of it as well. So if you think this is a little bit too small you can go ahead and do that. And you can also change the color just in the same way you can the background fill. So for example, if you wanted to set it to a white, you could, or even a gray, um, it's entirely up to you. Um, so let's just go ahead and create a sort of color for this. I'm gonna use a whitey, a, a, a whitey gray there. And then when it's selected, I am gonna make it to a different color. So I'm gonna make it white. And we've gotta change this text color for each and every different state as well. So let's just make it white by default. Um, and then on my rollover state where you know the background is actually going to be orange I'm going to change this text color to black <clears throat> There you are and that should look quite nice. So let's just go ahead and give that a go I'm just going to move my header back in place just like that and I'm also going to move my text as well just to get it back where it should be. Now whenever you're moving things around just make sure you've got your menu sort of snapping to the header area in your page. And now when we zoom out and press preview hopefully this should look quite nice. Also you can see where, there's, where I zoomed in really closely I didn't see that that sort of went off the screen a bit. So just drag that in and just chuck it in the center place it wherever you want really and let's go ahead and press preview. And you can see we've got our menu looking quite nice at the top here and it sort of changes the text color and the background color of our menu as well which is quite nice. Now there is only one other thing that I do want to show you and that is just going over the transitions, what well, a basic transition anyway for our buttons. So basically what that means is we're going to be adding sort of like a little animation when you roll over it. That animation for now is just going to be a simple little fade. So to do that I'm just going to click the states bit just press normal and then we're just going to turn the fade on and the duration is going to be one second. If we press preview now you can sort of see it fades on and it looks quite nice and it looks a lot more professional. There's a few changes that we can make with this. For example if you wanted to we could change the duration of the fade so if you want it to be quicker you just reduce the number or if you want it to be slower you just increase it. So for example if I set this to free um, and then we press preview you can see the fade is now a lot slower, but personally I prefer to have it at about one second for now. But anyway, that is pretty much everything that I wanted to go over for styling your menu. You guys just need to think, figure out exactly what you want to do with your menu, and then you just change things like the background color, the text, the text size, um, and all that kind of stuff. But anyway guys, thanks for watching, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. Don't forget to smack that, vi uh, smack that like button, share the video, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.